This is Leon. <clears throat> I want to talk about an experience that I presently had. Uh, I was going outside to put my laundry in the washer. So, uh, there's this black guy that stays uh, over there when I'm passing by. I've never m met him officially, don't even know who he is, but there is a point within me wherein a uh, specific type of black man uh, triggers a thought within my head that this man is going to rape me. I don't know the starting point of that thought construct. I'm going to have to do a thought construct on it in order to um, find out uh, the starting point of this thought because this happens every day when I see a specific type of black man um, thinking I'm going to be raped by them. So what I do, my reaction is to kind of get this tough look like you know like that's try to act hard and tough you don't know why it's gonna rape me um yeah And so that's one of the reasons why I don't wear shorts. I've never worn shorts in my whole life. Uh, the superficial reason was because I had skinny legs. But the hidden thought was because um, I felt that as if I'm going to be raped by a man and I don't know where that thought originates <sighs> but uh, the point of this video is not really about the the rape part but about keeping your head up not in that positive sense keeping your head up like you know like a motivation you need to keep your head up. No, that's bullshit. Uh, well, it's not bullshit, but it is because, I mean, whatever. But well, it's bullshit if you don't direct yourself within that keeping your head up. Because if you just keep your head up, not knowing why you keep your head up, and allow yourself to continue to be possessed by your mind, then it's bullshit. But if you actually keep your head up and actually direct yourself as yourself in self-honesty in every moment of breath, then that is the practical meaning of keeping your head up. But the point of um, that I am pertaining to within this context is uh, when, um, see, when I pass that section, um, the, the part where I'm passing him to go and wash my clothes, uh, and um, I kind of let my head go down, like, and then you know, all these thoughts start coming, you know, these thoughts within my mind, like, for instance, I need to keep my head down because I it's a form of protection if you. Keep your head down is a form of protection from what you could be thinking if you had your head straight up, you know, looking either at the person or just k k keeping your head up in general. Because if you keep it down and walk, it's like a protection. So that's why I uh, keep, uh, that's why I, uh, need to direct this point as myself and keep my head up uh, from the perspective of not allowing myself 
to go into a mode of protection by keeping my head down. Thus, when I keep my head up, I direct that point as myself. You know, and then when keeping my head up, I can look at that point clearly. This is what I am accepting and allowing to exist. Then I can uh, uh, apply myself accordingly through self-forgiveness, writing, breathing, whatever is in that moment that self has an opportunity to do, uh, is to do it. Self-forgiveness out loud or mentally uh, and breathing are the two primary points that, that, that one has within those moments of walking, uh, you know, outside uh, in the public um, yeah I was thinking about also uh, a little bit off topic a little bit off topic I was thinking about buying me an iPad uh, something so I can kind of write my self forgiveness statements while I'm actually outside you know doing this and that it helps me keep a it, 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 it kind of like solidifies your statement. Then you can kind of uh, uh, put it more in detail um, as that self-forgiveness statement. You can you know write it more in detail. But um, yes, so I was walking, and then that energetic possession came onto me. I held my head down as a form of protected mode, you know, so I should keep my head up and look directly at the point, which is within, looking directly, this is what I am accepting and allowing to exist, of the belief that uh, I'm, I will be raped or whatever, you know, I need to direct that point within self-forgiveness and do a thought construct on it of the reason why this point exists within me as myself and has been existing since the beginning I mean since I was young you know this point um, I don't know but yes, thank you.